Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac to Me Questions and today I want to have a look at Tweetbot for Mac. It's been released as an alpha, not even a beta, and it works, but there are a few things missing out of it. But let's have a look and see what we can do with it. Well, the first thing you want to do is to get it installed and you'll need to download that as a zip file from the Tweetbot website. And when you've got it, you can just drag it and drop it as you usually do into your applications folder. Then you're going to want to add an account or two to it, so go to Preferences. Click on the Accounts button and then click on Plus. So it's asking me to authorise Tweetbot to use my account and I'm going to tell it to authorise. So this is where I put in the details about the account that I want to use with it and tell it to authorise the application. So let's just click on Launch Application. You have to do this with each of the accounts that you uh, organise with Tweetbot for Mac. And now I have the account available within there. Look, Once I have it in there I can start setting up if I want to use Twitter or Bitly for the URL shortening. Choose whichever one you want, it doesn't really matter. Image upload, Twitter, Posterous, Picture, Image Lee, and all those ones there. Choose whichever one you, you prefer using. And then with the video upload, you've got choices there as well. So maybe you want to use Dropler for that one. And you have to start filling in your logins for those accounts. And read later, I use Pocket for mine. And then again, you put in your Pocket account details and so on. So that's fairly easy to set up your account and you can do all of that. I've got a few things set up for my Wizard Gold account and my Mac 20Q account already. Let's go to the general one of this first of all. So you've got sounds that are available. You can play all notifications only or whatever. You can have a font size, medium, large, huge and so on. So that depends on how good your eyesight is. That didn't change a lot going to large, did it? It didn't even change much when it went to huge either, but still. Display name, you can have full name, username or both. Let's put both on there. That's a bit more useful, isn't it? And then you've got date format, relative or absolute. So, I think that one's quite good, isn't it? Having the absolute on there. And then the new tweets bar, you can have persistent or hide on scroll. Have a play with those. See which of those you prefer. Pin timeline to top when at top. Okay, so that's all set up there. And we've got standard quotes, RT with comment or via user. I'll click on via user for that one. So here we are in mentions at the moment in uh, this one here. Let's click on that there. And then I can go to a timeline. If I uh, scroll down, I'll get the updated today and it does the update for me. At the moment I'm looking at a list of iPad users. Or I can have it on the full timeline view. And when that happens, there's going to be lots of them coming in. Because I have a lot of friends and followers on this account. So if you want to select certain things, let's go for a followed list. Let's go for geeks. So when these geeks put something in there, I shall be the first to know about it in Tweetbot for Mac. You've got your mentions in there. You've got your direct messages. Of course, you've got your favourites in there too. And you can do searches. Click on search. You can do a search for using the iPad or maybe you want to do a search on this one here. Anything that's got iMac in there, iWork or iLife. And when you do that, obviously you can do your follow throughs and uh, decide if you're going to follow these people or not. If they're talking about things that you're interested in. Let's click on follow there. So you see how that works. And there's just information there about the users and so on. You can see the number of followers, following tweets listed and all that sort of stuff. And then you can go to retweets by others. I've only been using this tweet bot for Mac a little while, so there's not an awful lot in there. And you've got mute filters. Now, at the moment, these mute filters aren't actually working. Although you do have some possibilities of muting if you go to Edit and click on Plus, and then you can mute clients. So, for instance, I might want to mute anything that's coming from ClickBank. So that one there, or to ClickBank. Sending a tweet is really easy. Just uh, click on that there and uh, do your stuff. You can decide whether you want to have your location stuff in there or not. That's all pretty easy. And you can remove location or add image to that as well. If I click on add image, I can just choose an image from the folders there and that's nice and easy. Now when I click on this thing here, the gear icon, doesn't actually get me anywhere. It doesn't work at the moment. If I close that there, what you expect to happen and what you expect to see is if you go to preferences. So you'll have to go up to there or click on the command and comma. Choose what you want to look at here by going to Timeline Mentions and you've got your command 1, 2, then 1, to 9 in there. 
so that you can see what you've got. So Command 7 shows me all the lists that are available there. There's quite a lot of things that are working within this already, so it's uh, pretty handy. It's usable at the moment, and if you've been using other Tweetbot applications for the Mac, then I think you might quite, might quite like this. And you can have a new timeline. So, for instance, if you want to look at two things. Okay, so I want to look at this one here, which is a Wizard Gold account. And on this one here, I decide I want to have a look at what's happening with Mac 20Q. And I can have two things running at the same time. So there you go. That's a quick look at Tweetbot for Mac. I think it's worth downloading and having a play with it. And, of course, you can help the people who are developing this. Give them back some information if you have any crashes or anything like that. I'm sure they'll be glad to know. It'll make a better app for all of us. And if you found this video useful, why don't you click on the like button in YouTube. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button. So anytime there's a new video from Mac20Q or any of the other videos that I do on the Wizard Gold account on YouTube, you're going to be the first to know about it. Bye-bye now.